بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الله جعلنا منهم We start as we always do first and foremost by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thanking him showing him our utmost gratitude and appreciation we ask Allah to bless, protect Honor and compliment our beloved Prophet, our Messenger, our Teacher, our Role Model, Muhammad Rasulullah, <clears throat> his family, friends, and companions, and everyone that follows the way until the end of time. May Allah make us from those people that diligently and obediently follow the way until the end of time. I mean, Assalamu Alaikum, everyone, and welcome to our session on Ayah number twenty-four of Surah Al-Mulk on verse twenty-four of Surah Al-Mulk, wherein Allah He says. قُلْ هُوَ الَّذِي ذَرَأَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَإِلَيْهِ تُحْشَرُونَ Say, He is the one who propagated you in the earth and to Him you will be mustered. Another way to translate this is, My Prophet, say and tell them, No doubt, He, God, Allah, is the one who created, placed and scattered and spread all of you throughout the earth and you will all be returned to Him alone. So again, Allah is continuing in this manner wherein He's telling the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to tell them something. Tell them something about their existence, about the reality of this world, right? Because if it's not our existence like we talked about in the previous ayah, أَنْشَأَكُمْ He brought you into existence. Then in this ayah, it's being addressed to ask us, what about your humanity, your location, your lineage, your region, and by extension, your languages and your colors, the different foods, all of these different, how does one person end up on this side of the world and another person on the other side of the world? And despite being at all of these different places around the entire globe, you're all going to be returned back to Allah alone. قُلْ say. Allah is telling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say, Hu Alladhi, He is the one who Dhara'akum. Right, created, placed, but also spread and scattered, scattered all of you. Fil Ard. In and throughout and on the earth, the globe, east, west, north, south. He is the one. Allah is the one. He is the only one that created you and put you all over the earth. You have people who live in the coldest of climates. You have people who live in the warmest of climates. You have people who live surrounded by water, people who've never seen an ocean or a, a sea. People who only see horses, people who only see camels, people who only see armadillos, people who only see cows, people who only see so all of these different animals and you're all throughout the world you're all everywhere and to him and him alone to Allah and to no one but Allah all of you will be returned it's not by your action it's not you that's returning rather it is you that will be returned it's not your doing. It's something. It's not something you choose. Ah, I want to be returned. No, I don't want to be returned. It's going to happen to you whether you like it or not. Tuhsharun, tuhsharun. It's something that happens outside of your will. Something that is just done to you. And so again, we should think. We should realize we are so broad and diverse with so many different colors and languages and different cultures, different places, different climates, different foods, different dress. Allah has blessed us to be so diverse and so much so Allah He tells us in Surah Al-Hujurat Ya ayyuha nas inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu That humanity, people, we have created you, we made you from one man and one woman and we made you to all these different families, groups, tribes, cultures, ethnicities so go and know one another, recognize one another, figure out who you are. And this shouldn't be something that gives us arrogance. Allah He tells us, Inna akramakum, عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ 
the most honorable, lofty, the most praiseworthy, the people that have the greatest status amongst you in the sight of Allah is not because of your shu'ub and your qaba'il. It is not because of your lineage and your family and your tribe and your ethnicity and your race and where you're from. It is because of your taqwa. It is because of your piety. It is because of you changing your lifestyle because you know Allah is watching you. But still, Allah has spread us out every which way in place. And our final destination, our place of return, is not this earth. Yes, we're going to die and be buried here. But we're not just going to become a part of the dirt. We're not just going to decay and go into nothingness. We are going to be returned back to Allah. Our final destination is with Allah. When we meet Allah, these questions will come back up in our minds. Who created you? Where are you going? Who's more rightly guided? Who provided for you? What did you do with all of these blessings? And we're going to be asked on the Day of Judgment, questioned and judged for our deeds. May Allah make that day easy for us. And so if we recognize now and change ourselves and be ready and prepared to answer those questions, that will be an easier day so that we can be successful, that we can be people who make it and succeed on the Day of Judgment. And before Allah, we know that He is pleased with us, that He is happy with us. So again, think, who is it that created you, put you all over the world? One person here, one person there, this color, that color, this culture, that food, that dress, that temperature, that warmth, that climate. At the end of the day, we're all going back to Allah. We're going to be judged by Allah. We're going to have to stand before Allah. We're going to be accountable before our Lord, our Creator, our Master. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-azim, subhanak Allahum wa bihamdik. How completely far from any form of imperfection you are, O oh Allah. All the praise and thanks belongs to you. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. There is nothing worthy of our worship or devotion except for you. Nastaghfiruka. We seek your forgiveness. Wa natubu ilayk. We turn to you in repentance. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayr khalqihi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yumiddin. Allah wa ja'ala minhum. We end, O oh Allah, by asking you to bless, protect, honor, and compliment our beloved Prophet, our Messenger, our Teacher, our Romar Muhammad Rasulullah his family, friends, companions, and everyone that follows the way until the end of time. May Allah make us from those people that diligently and obediently follow the way until the end of time. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.